All right, it's finally time. It's been a long time since Twix, our war turtle, had gone off on his super secret missions to help out Gobstopper with uh, some of the candy stealing that they tend to do. But I'm sure that Gobstopper and Twix know that we only steal candy from villains now. We no longer steal candy from children. I really hope that they have repented of those ways. But let's go ahead and see after a long, long, long time inside of the Pokeball, riding on a bike with me in real life, just how many steps and how much candy will Twix bring back? Let's go ahead and bring him back. Oh, there you go, Twix. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's been so long, buddy. All right, we took Twix for a stroll. We had an amazing time. He is beginning at level 18. He has actually been in this Pokeball for a couple weeks, uh, bouncing around while I have been biking in my indoor bike. He has gained 87,206 experience points. <laughs> oh my goodness, this might take a hot second. I can't believe this. What level are you going to end up on, buddy? I think Twix has gone off for the candy stealing crew and he actually is now surpassing. Oh my gosh, he's gonna turn into a Blastoise, isn't he? He just passed up. Oh, he actually just passed up Gobstopper in level. The candy stealing crew is turning over a new watery leaf, or I guess a new piece of candy, and they're actually going to be forces of good clearing the way so we can continue our adventures. Holy cow. Okay, this is gonna take a second while he grows up so many levels. He's gonna learn water gun. Let's go ahead and have him learn water gun. This is so exciting. We will replace bubble. Let's go ahead and replace bubble with water gun. Uh, yeah, there we go. So while Twix was gone, stealing candy from Team Rocket, no less, he had to learn some new tactical moves so that he could continue in his battling. And I'm pretty sure he's going to return to us completely different as a uh, as a blast toys we won't even recognize him at first i can only imagine we're walking along the roadway with a little creek next to us and this boulder begins to emerge from the creek and we have no idea who or what it is but there's something familiar about him and the boulder turns into a gigantic blast toys who approaches us just as we begin to panic he goes ahead and uh gives us a little snuggle let's go ahead and actually forget hmm what does withdraw do? The user withdraws its body into the hard shell, raising its defense stat, or we could go ahead and bite. Um, I kind of feel like let's go ahead and replace tail whip because I think that Twix is a little bit more aggressive than that. And he has forgotten tail whip, he now knows bite. But I love that idea. So, you guys, if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here. We're going to imagine that he stepped out of a creek, reuniting with us as we continued our adventure looking for the lost Cubone. And, uh, oh boy, any second now, I'm pretty sure, Bubble Beam. Oh my gosh, yes, learn Bubble Beam. That would be so cool. Um, let's actually replace Withdraw with Bubble Beam kind of want, let's replace Bite, because I don't think he's so aggressive that he wants to use Bite. I think he's learned to really use his water powers to steal candy and to blast clean the nefariousness of Team Rocket. Oh my gosh, any second. Level 37, level 38. What else is gonna happen? Level 39. Level 40. Here we go, guys. He wants to learn the move. <gasps> protect! Oh, that sounds like such a cool move. Okay. Enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. What? Okay. That is going to be... We're going to replace withdraw with protect. And imagine that Twix just pulls into his shell when he does that. There we go. Now he knows protect. This is so cool. I can't imagine how fun it would be to meet him again after he's learned all of these new skills. And hopefully he's got a lot of candy. We're gonna have to see what the candy loot looks like. I'm not involved with the candy stealing, but Gobstopper does still run his team. He wants to learn headbutt. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't run up and just like headbutt me to say hello. All right, so headbutt sticks its head out and attacks by charging strength. This may also make the target flinch. It has a power of 70. And a, ta a tackle, we're gonna go ahead and replace tackle with headbutt 
because Twix does not know his own strength now that he has changed so much, and I am pretty darn sure he is about to evolve. Here he goes! You guys! He's back! And he is going to look completely different. Wow, I had no idea the candy stealing team would be so efficient. Check him out! There you are, Twix! You don't even know your own strength, do you, buddy? <laughs> All right, and let's check out how much candy he has brought back during that time as well. Blastoise's data has been added. He is actually a little underweight, so he has not been secretly munching on that candy behind our back. He is actually not as big as I thought. He's just a little bit shorter than me. We're the same height, more or less. Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water with even more force than a fire hose. And that sounds like somebody who would have the shellfish Pokemon. Uh, he walked for 111 one, wait, yeah, 111,412 steps. We called out to each other quite a bit, and he has brought back three rare candies, 17 squirrel candies, 17 Pikachu candies, a Na'a berry, some mighty candy, and I, I am, I'm just so impressed. And apparently I have walked together with my Pokemon for 250,000 steps. That's like a quarter of a million steps. We have been adventuring a lot with these guys. Oh my gosh. And we've called out to each other and replied to each other a lot. And we have even more rewards for our stroll. So we now have, um, let's see, six squirrel candy, four more Pikachu candy, and 20 rare candy. <gasps> let's go sell those guys. So, uh, welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu with our wonderful Eevee, Eevee, and his best friend, Jewel, our Pikachu. How you doing, Jewel? I know, that was a little surprising. I did not expect Twix to come back and join us uh, so soon, but as you guys just saw, I have called back and I actually need to look into my Poka. Uh, box in order to see him. All right, there we go, Pokemon box. But I have called back Twix, formerly our war turtle, uh, to come and revisit with us. Bearing in mind that Twix was a very troubled Squirtle when we first met him all the way back in, oh, what city was that? Oh gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's go ahead and look. But we got him from, it wasn't Route 12. 11. There we go. It was Vermilion City. Here in Vermilion City is where Twix began his life as a troubled squirtle caught by Officer Jenny. We went ahead and adopted him to try to keep him out of trouble. Unfortunately, trouble was already in our team with our candy stealing Psyduck, who went on to become Gobstopper the Golduck, who, upon going over to Lavender Town and discovering his abilities with psychic powers and water to cure all sorts of uh, bad ghosts energy, has decided to turn over a new leaf and watches carefully over us as we continue our adventures, now working our way to Celadon City. So uh, Twix, as part of the candy stealing crew, just came back with all of that candy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I going to do with all this candy? Here, Jewel, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of this candy. There you go. Jewel has now gotten stronger. Let's just feed her more. Why not? I mean, we've got so much of it. Now her HP is up, her attack is up. Uh, we have 51 rare candy, which basically means we can be completely rolling in whatever levels we want to roll in. We can roll in uh, pretty much <laughs> pretty much any amount of money that we possibly need. Uh, let's go ahead. Gobstalker is going to eat this side at candy. He actually is still in the lead for being the strongest Pokemon and the highest level Pokemon in our team. And he has done a very good job protecting us. Also, I don't have our wonderful War Turtle out now or else I'd give him that Squirtle candy. But yeah, so I won't keep you guys much longer, but we're never going to have to worry about money again, basically. <laughs> I can't imagine what that would feel like to have like all of that candy jostling around inside of our little bag too. But all right, so here we are. So we are doing a serious mission. We are trying to figure out what happened to that Cubone. I now have candy overflowing from my pockets. That's kind of amazing. And we were doing a little bit of research. I kind of want to look at my team again really quickly. 
We were trying to figure out... Yeah, Ivy Fern is kind of protective. Mistfire... I don't think this is Mistfire's place, and I kind of want to just have Twix on our team for a minute. But he won't really... Like, there's no point in leveling him up. Um... So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna let our little female bell sprout join the party again in Mistfire's place so that she can get leveled up. Because we have a very powerful team who is not going to need to worry about much. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow this female Cubone to change places with Chicken Mary? Uh, with Ivy Fern? Hmm with uh, Ivy Fern for now. And the reason is that hopefully this little Cubone will be able to give us some advice on how to rescue the other wee Cubone. <gasps> and look at these Snapdragon flowers, they're so beautiful. The other Cubone who is in trouble. Oh, did you find something, Jewel? There we go. Jewel found something in the plants. A silver knob berry. Just what the heck does a silver knot odd berry look like? It looks like that Radita is going to, or that Radicate is going to try to fight us for it. All right, silver knot odd berry. A berry that calms wild Pokemon you're trying to catch when given to them. Wow, okay, is that like a better version? Yeah, it must be like a really special shiny version of berries, basically. That's so cool. But all right, so you guys know the drill by now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This guy! I'm, this Raticate is coming to try to steal our silver berry. I don't think so, buddy. Alright, hang on you. Oh yeah? Right on the nose. What'd you think about that? We're gonna catch you and we're gonna do science to you. Which basically just means like taking your weight and measurements and giving you to Professor Oak. There we go. Have we actually caught Eradicate before? Whoops, I went a little too fast on that. And everybody leveled up because it was such a big Raticate. Oh, and Jewel wants to learn the move Agility. Let's go ahead and see what that involves. It's a psychic move! The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. This sharply raises the speed stat. Now, that would be kind of a cool thing to pretend that she could learn from um, Mistfire, because Mistfire is kind of like our psychic educator of the team. But I kind of think that we're just going to have to let it go because I also think Payday is just too adorable a move to forget because Jewel likes to be a little detective. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. All right. No, we're going to keep our old moves. We're going to pretend she just knows a little bit about it. All right. Oh, and Bellsprout wants to learn the move Poison Powder, possibly to defend. Uh, let's learn... Do I want Poison Powder or Acid? Acid kind of works a little bit quicker. Poison powder. The gross out runs, raising its attack. Do I want you to learn poison powder? I think I'm okay without having this bell sprout learn poison powder. All right, there we go. And Cupone even leveled up. Oh my gosh, everybody wants to learn mo new moves. Maybe we're just having a picnic with all of this new candy. <laughs> all right, the user takes a deep breath and focuses its energy. We all just spent the day meditating and eating candy. This is ridiculously adorable. As long as this move is in use, the power of rage raises the attack stat each time the user is hit in battle. Uh, so rage could be pretty good, but you know what? For the sake of our roleplay, we're gonna say that this little Cubone is learning how to let go of her rage and focus her energy in a more positive way. And we'll see how that makes her a fighter. Not that many of our Pokemon will be fighters. <laughs> and we'll say that those that we would just have been sitting here kind of meditating for a little while with all of our Pokemon, sorting a huge pile of candy. All right, and Raticate is a new Pokemon. This is actually a little bit of a small one. Significantly small, almost nine pounds lighter than it should be. And it's half the size it should be. Its hind feet are webbed. They act as flippers so it can swim in rivers and hunt for prey. Hmm, all right. Professor Oak might find that very interesting. But there we go, guys. So a little bit of a slow start, but that is all because we have been uh, somewhat distracted by how amazing... Ooh, we got an elixir. By how amazing our candy-stilling crew has become at doing what they do. <gasps> a Vulpix! Oh, and it disappeared! Curses! I really wanted to try to catch it. Uh, should I catch this rat? I'm gonna try to catch this radicate really quickly. It's tiny! Alright. Wait for your little silliness. Right on the nose. There we go. 
And we'll continue to gather Pokemon to do research versus battling since we are kind of like a Pokemon researchers, basically. What? It had three quick candy. You're a perfect member of the team, level 27 Eradicate. I wonder actually if the candy stealing crew might want to like add that Pokemon to the team. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, Bellsprout. <laughs> what is happening? Everybody is just like feeling their best. Now Bellsprout wants to learn the move Stun Spore. Okay, that actually sounds kind of useful. And there's more to it than, cause Stun Spore, Let's see, Sleep Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and forget Sleep Powder and learn Stun Spore. This Bellsprout kinda likes to be a little bit more shocking, probably because it's been hanging out with Jewel for so long. All right, look at it go, it's so happy. Eevee has grown to level 30, Cubone's 25, Chickenberry 25. <laughs> Yeah, everybody is having a good time and Chickenberry wants to learn Whirlwind. So this has been a pretty slow day. Uh, target is blown away and a different Pokemon is dragged out. That could be useful. Really useful. Hmm. Roost. Hmm. But I think I'm okay. I've rarely had to worry about that. We're gonna keep our old moves. There you go, Chickenberry. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this has been kind of a slow day in some ways because we barely made it past the entrance, but we learned so much. We have our wonderful War Tortle back as a Blastoise and we made it to Celadon City. What the heck? Here he is. He's right here. We're already ready for battle. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Yeah, well, what's Team Rocket doing here? This, these ne'er-do-wells. Sir, what's going on? A poke flute awakens sleeping Pokemon. It does so with the sound only they can hear. Well, thank you, sir, but uh, guys, there's Team Rocket right outside. It's the woman over there with the Abra in the corner. Rumor has it she's amazing. She's an amazing fortune teller. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Guys, I've come here to collect a lot of Cantonian Vulpix. If you have a Vulpix, please trade it for my Vulpix. <gasps> no way! Oh guys, do we have an extra Vulpix? Not Mistfire, of course, um, because she is super special, but I think that that would actually give us an Alohan Vulpix. We do have extra Vulpixes. All right, and we could get the new apprentice for Mistfire because let's go ahead and, should I do this trade? There's just so much going on. All right, I actually think today has been just kind of a technical candy eating day. Our team is doing great, and we're going to take a moment, uh, actually, to sell that candy. Before we do anything else, we're going to go to the Pokemart, and I'm going to show you guys why it was so exciting to get that much candy. Wow, look at this place. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Oh my gosh, there's a gloom. Is this the Pokemart? Jewel, this is really cute, isn't it? I love being here. She seems very interested in the fountain. She loves the water. Oh, I love how she loves getting splashed by the water. Is this the Pokemart? I just want to sell my completely innocently collected. Welcome to the Celadon department store. Please check the board for the, oh my gosh. All right, well, we have a lot of stolen candy that we need to do something with, my friends. And, uh, you know, we have very, very powerful team members. But, um, yeah, okay, so what to do first? Well, next time we're going to come back and try to quietly pawn off all of this candy that was completely stolen from only bad people. Don't worry about it. From the uh, the candy crew. And then we're going to see what goes on if we can get Mistfire a Alohan Vulpix because that would be absolutely fantastic. And uh, I might have some of my Pokemon Zap Team Rocket. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I know today was kind of an interesting day. It's always hard when we're bringing back a Pokemon from being out walking for so long. But I'm kind of curious, who should I send out now? We have our candy stealing crew, and I'm kind of wondering if they do want to uh, possibly recruit that Raditate that we caught, because it seemed to carry a lot of candy on it as well. What is its like personality like? Let's check really quickly. Uh, it's quick to flee, but it's relaxed otherwise, and it's very small. And I imagine having a small little Raticate help you out might be really fun. So what's a fun candy name we could give him? Because I'm actually kind of in love with him. Let's go ahead and give him a little marking. 
so that we know he is probably going to be part of the candy stealing crew and we do not want to just toss him out. And I will see you guys next time when hopefully we will actually, you know, sell the candy and get moving on our adventures. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to pick up one of the many pieces of candy that we now have. And if you would like to join me for this and literally thousands more of slightly more fast paced adventures, do please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.